Oh. oh yeah, it was chaos. Everybody was screaming and then my manager was like, nope, I'm closing these doors right now. Hey guys, it's Charlene Love, back with another video. All right, I know I'm wearing the same outfit. It is the same day, same video, don't judge. But okay, so today, I'm gonna let you guys know an interesting story. Okay, so as a lot of you know, I work at the mall and she went down yesterday. Um, okay, so I guess back on last Wednesday before Christmas or right after Christmas, I don't really remember. Yeah, right after Christmas. Um, subscribe. <gasps> Somebody subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you. But um, okay. Anyways, <laughs> like I was saying, um, yeah, there was a riot with like hundreds of little kids, teenagers fighting, arguing. There was over 200 police there and um, a lot of the kids, they ran out of the mall and started jumping on cars. Second time in three days, police had to disperse large crowds the day after Christmas. Fights inside spilled outside where teens jumped on cars and smashed out windows and destroying cars but luckily only two cars were uh, messed up and the other cars were i guess fine but um no people were arrested no guns were found like that anything but then it happened again um yesterday and this sucks because i need my hours okay y'all got me working one hour <laughs> it sucked i was supposed to get five hours oh uh, no four hours yesterday i got one because it should happen again, which is ridiculous. Like, why are people doing this? Like, I don't understand. Um, I guess one of them posted on social media. I'll put that right here. Saying, you know, meet up. Let's do this. Let's do this again. Which is, like, really childish. Like, come on, guys. Really? You want to get in trouble? Like, this is ridiculous. But um, there, um, when I was going to work, actually, I couldn't even walk through the food court, which is, like, why. People were like shoving me and I was like, bro, I'm just trying to get to work on time. Can you move out my way? And I got to work on time luckily. And then not even like 30 minutes, an hour later, um, I'm doing my thing, you know, putting sensors on clothes. And all of a sudden my friend like gets freaked out and I'm like, what? Like, are they saying something that I can't hear? Like what? And she was like, I think there's a shooting. I was like, uh-huh, uh oh, what? I was shook. I was like, uh, what do you mean? I, I walked and everybody was running. The doors were already closed. Like my manager was on top of that. She was like, nope. She literally, in less than five seconds, my other manager told me, she she closed that door. She grabbed it from the wall, closed it, locked it. That's it. She, she don't, cause she was there um, last Wednesday. I wasn't, but she was there. So she already, she already knew like what was gonna happen. And um, everybody was running and screaming. And it was just like, uh, hundreds and hundreds of people like packed together just running and screaming and recording and there was I saw a lot of police a lot of security and I get I think one security got like injured or one person got injured um but yeah and I was like what is happening and my manager was like yes the mall is closed because of safety reasons like everything happened like so quick and I felt really bad because there was a lot of people there that were like super scared. And I was like, no, it's okay. Just like be safe. Uh, like you're safe here. It's locked. You know, I felt super bad. And um, everybody, we just finished all the transactions of the people in the store. And she uh, had me take charge of op um, opening and closing the door and not letting anybody in because we didn't know what was happening at the time. And it might be a shooter and we can't let a shooter in, obviously. Like nobody, you let nobody in because you never know. And so I just let the people out and that was it. We just branded and cleaned everything. And then we were able to go home. One of my manager's partners was telling us that they were stuck in Bath and Body Works and people since they were running from the other side of the mall they're running from the food court back the other way that um a lot of people were kicking and hitting the doors trying to get in i guess and um this girl actually let them in and then i the manager was screaming what are you doing you can't open the door like what do you and like the girl got like freaked out and i guess they let people in and also let people out which is you're not supposed to do that you know you're supposed to keep the doors locked because you never know if you're letting somebody in like i said earlier and um Luckily, 
they got out and went to back, back to our store. Afterward, we were okay to go and we were walking. And when I tell you there were so many police there, there was so many cop cars. I can't even, there was a helicopter in the air. I was like, bro, like what is going on? Like, I didn't know this whole story still. I knew that it was probably a riot. I saw a bunch of people. I didn't know what was happening. Um, somebody said there was a gun. Somebody said it was rival gang. And then there were multiple teens running around saying they had guns. And then the officer came in and said they were closing down the mall because there were two different rival gangs over by Macy's just fighting with each other. Then all of a sudden I'm walking to my car. There was a whole bunch of police everywhere. And then news people walk by. was like, hey, you want to be on the news? I was like, sure, I'll say something. Because me, I want to be on, I'm over here wanting to be on the news, being all extra. It was a serious, serious situation. And I was like, yeah, my manager, I did Oh yeah, it was chaos. Everybody was screaming and then my manager was like, nope, I'm closing these doors right now. I was super scared though at the, t at the same time I was. Um, my heart was like beating. He was asking me questions. Did this scare you at all? What do you think about all this? Yeah, I was scared for my safety because I didn't want to get like trampled, shot, pushed, nothing. Large numbers of police continued to patrol even after things died down. And I was like, oh crap, like, crap. I mean, even though it's like a local TV a local news thing, not like, you know, big things. I was like, <clears throat> but yeah, he asked me like, are you scared of this situation? Like, what do you think is going on? Um, how did you feel, this and that? I'll put it here. I looked a little busted, don't judge. Okay, I had my hair up. I was not trying to be at work that day. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then all that happened. I went into my car and it took me forever to leave because everybody was trying to rush out. But yeah, I ended up leaving, that was it. I really freaking pray that this does not happen again because this is ridiculous. Like, why are you guys trying to show up at a mall, make police come like two times in a week, Wednesday and then Friday? Like, what is the point of this? It's irritating. But that was about it for my story about what happened at the mall. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry if this video was a little boring, but people wanted to know what happened. So there you go. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, go like my last video that I posted. And I'm probably going to do another video right now in this same outfit. So don't judge. <laughs> but yeah, go like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.